mechanical counters, contatore, sailor, odometers, tellers, compteur. They're made in different sizes, shapes, different designs. We're going to have a look how the actual thing works. How one number brings over the movement to the next number drum. Eight digits. For example, this one is a jumping digit. The Geneva has the, there is the takeover pull, and that's the Geneva click, and that'll take it over to the next number. This one runs downwards. Some of my junk boxes with old meters in registers from meters, kilowatt hour meters, water meters and the likes. Here we have a flat disk type register and the Geneva is visible. Come to the O or water meter. The Geneva wheel is clearly visible here. See that between the one and the two, there's an indentation. That's the actual takeover pull that makes the single units operate the tens, and then the tens will operate the hundreds, and so on. This particular counter got an indentation at uh, between the 7 and the 8. And the Geneva movement is the little black wheel above the actual digits. This is a register from an old car. And the Geneva movements in these is in between the little aluminium plates in between the number number wheels so that's basically an internal sprocket wheel which also uh, makes movement uh, possible between the units from the units to the tens and so on these registers can, registers can be made very compact you get another Geneva again I'll take this one apart. The actual intermediate sprocket is between the two and the three on these particular meters. The principle is the same. I'm going to take this particular one apart because it's got large numbers and it's quite easy to see how it works. Again, the Geneva is here. There's four Genevas in this particular one. So we're just going to take the dial apart quickly couple of clips on the side and I can take the whole assembly out basically here we have the two Genevas Maybe a bit clearer, but the the sprocket on the left, it's this particular sprocket, that normally meshes with the indentation in the number wheel here. So this basically sits on this side and sits in this position. And the one with the gear 
that drives on the other side of the number wheel that really sits here the magic of numbers from a personal point of view mechanical counters, meters, contatore are a lot more interesting than all the electronic LCD displays Vida root counter with a reset option zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero Vedo root, 230 volts, 50 hertz, impulse counter. This is a register from made by Jager from a Renault 16 with the famous changeover where the 9 goes up and then the second digit follows. I'll get it up to the 10, hang on. Look leading 10.0 this meter works basically that's the drive from the Bowden cable I just put a file on there to turn it that's your eddy current clutch which basically drives the pointer this one is actually broken um, this meter got two worm drives there's worm drive one Worm drive 2 to an intermediate gear and worm drive 3 that goes up to the top gear and drives the actual 100 meter um, 100 meter decimal this is a very old Jagger meter don't know where it came from but the Salvaged it over the years. This is an electronic video miles in kilometer meter. This is a um, rotation meter. The shaft can go forward and backwards, and the counter still advances. So it's for a machine um, to count the evolutions of a shaft and the machine may go back and forth many times very smart meter I found this in the illustration in one of my old mathematics books and it um, gives the visual aspect of the Geneva principle in a meter. Het wonder van de wiskunde. The magic of mathematics.